let's go through the top five important questions which interviewer generally ask when you're going for an selenium interview okay so it's the trend uh, as we consider nowadays what the five top questions are it keeps on changing from time to time okay so the first question usually the interviewer ask is what is selenium okay and most of the people just give the wrong answer they say that it is an automation tool and that is wrong selenium is not a tool selenium is a set of apis that help us to automate our web browser okay it is not a tool like qtp okay in which you have to install or not okay in selenium it is a jars apis in which you configure it in your project okay so it is a set of apis which help us to automate our web browsers that's the simple definition for the selenium would be okay. what are frameworks okay uh, when i'm asking generally the people or the students this question what are frameworks i usually receive the answer that uh, frameworks there are three types of frameworks one is data driven hybrid and page object model framework okay yeah these are frameworks but actually what the framework is and when i ask this they just get confused okay the framework is uh, in simple language you can explain is with this example that if you have 10 test cases okay they are easy to maintain but when you have 100 or 1000 of test cases then there arise many situations that is you want to separate the test cases based upon their functionality okay you want to execute specific tests at specific times okay you need to uh, make a strategy that how you will be getting the test data from a location okay you have to generate the logs you have to create the reports of your test execution okay you need to download various jar files and dependencies and an another task like you have to make functions how to read from an excel or read from a database okay the so during the project these type of tasks or works needs to be done okay now if there are five persons working on a project each one will be doing in their own way okay and it will be a hodgepodge in your project so what the framework does it lays a strategy that how we will be performing our test activities by selenium okay not selenium any automation tool that this is how we'll be reading the data we create those apis or the method by which we'll be creating the data we create a method by which we can create our reports okay so that everyone working on a project use the same methods so it makes our task easier because while writing of the test case we can then concentrate upon the logic of the test case not on the features that how to read data from the excel and another task we can concentrate upon the test case so frameworks makes our life easier when we are automating test case okay the next question is can selenium automate windows based applications no selenium cannot automate windows based application selenium can only identify the browsers whether it's chrome firefox opera or any other browsers okay but then the interviewer generally asks this question, tricky question that you have a sign up form uh, in which you have to upload your picture that picture is contained on your system then how will you automate it okay and then the student just confused and they say no no we can also automate windows some features no we cannot automate windows based application with selenium 
what we do there are another automation tools for window based applications like auto id and others we integrate selenium with auto id and will perform this task okay selenium will fill up the sign up form and in while in for interacting with the windows based we can use the help of auto it okay and this is how we can automate our test case why would you recommend selenium the interviewer generally asked that there are various number of tools present then why will you opt for selenium there is not one there are many reasons which you can give first you can say that selenium is open source okay open source is of great advantage the first reason is that you don't have to pay for it second when the tool is open source it supports all others open source tools okay so with the help of selenium it is easily you are easy you can easily uh, integrate with git apm or another stuffs okay also when the tool is free a lot of data or research papers or you can say queries question and answers can be found on the net and which is easily accessible selenium is widely accepted it is not only used in major companies or is supported by major companies like google if google is using something or supporting is something that definitely it is of value i heard sometime before uh, that obama is using apm okay selenium and apm to automate their sites okay the us no uh, let that part okay uh, because i read something that in the blog that it is of so much widely accepted that everyone is using now these days okay and the best part is free it support multiple languages the language you name it it supported the browser you name it it supported the operating system you name it it supported so everything which is on demand or famous selenium supported so that's the best part of the selenium is okay now these days this is the question which i am asking most of the students also what is apm and the students just confused that uh, selenium i am in the selenium i have never heard of apm then what the apm is like selenium is for to automate your web browsers for windows based application apm is used to automate your mobile okay APM does not only your or your mobile web applications but also its native and hybrid application that is there is a windows based system and using the selenium you can automate only the browsers but if you have a mobile APM can automate everything in your mobile you can automate all the apps which is present on your mobile and APM you can in the layman terms can say APM is built on top of the selenium it is used selenium files and it has for the mobiles it has added more methods and we have built the APM so APM is a tool which is used for mobile automation it automates native hybrid as well as web apps okay so these are the top 5 basic questions which are generally asked by interviewer these days they are also the questions but uh, i think these are the most popular ones which are going in the market these days okay thank you